Yeah, I thought we played uh, pretty well in the first half. Um, kind of much different game than earlier in the year against them, uh, where I think they kind of were happy to be in a low block and, and look for that counter. And, you know, really any game that's just tough to break down and you're only going to get a couple chances, and I think we did. And um, their goalkeeper made uh, at least one very good save. And, you know, those are small margins in these games. But uh, overall, I think everyone's very pleased to not really have give, give any big chances like we had the last few games and keep the shutout tonight. And I was wondering if you could kind of maybe talk about what the last few weeks or months have been like for you as um, you and Gavin have once again kind of traded starts. He got a couple, and now you've gotten a couple in a row. Um, I guess, yeah, what's what's your mindset been, I guess, through some of these changes? Um, yeah, it hasn't been ideal, I think, for either of us. Um, but, um, you know, I'm, I was always ready. I, I'm going to stay ready. And if uh, Pablo calls my name, I'm ready to help the team in any way possible. So, thank you. Hey, Zach. Uh, congrats on the clean sheet tonight. And... Uh, what were you seeing back there? A lot of physicality, it seemed like, throughout the game. Was that evident from where you were? Yeah, I think uh, some early tackles. Uh, I thought the referee actually did well. Um, some early yellow cards. Uh, it was a lot more slippery than I think most games, and I think that has to do with maybe the, the weather changing a little bit here. And uh, it took a while, I think, for both teams to kind of get used to that. But uh, that was uh, kind of what playoff soccer can look like in MLS, and uh, that's a great Warning experience for all our guys, and hopefully we continue to play that well um, defensively going forward. Towards the end, you kind of seemed like the voice of reason, keeping people away from each other a little bit. The other team seemed pretty hot as well. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I got fined earlier this year uh, defending one of our players, so I didn't really want to do that again. Um, you know, emotions and tensions are high, and uh, just trying to keep guys cool, cool and calm because, you know, there's four or five minutes left in the game and just wanted to keep everyone's heads on straight. Yeah. You were really sure-footed out there, it seems, tonight. <clears throat> better cleats or... Yeah, uh, yeah, no, uh, felt good out there. Like I said, it was a slippery field, and uh, I think it took a little while for guys to get used to, but uh, overall, very good. Zach, what have you seen the past uh, couple of games that where you've been involved in, against Austin, and today, uh, where today you're able to get a clean sheet, but you weren't able to keep that over the past couple of games. I think, um, and really the last four four games or so, I think the team has played pretty well, um, and the goals that we gave up against Dallas, Portland, Austin were just moments of of forgetfulness of not even definitely not laziness just a little bit of turning your mind off for a second and you know late in games that can happen with you know whether it's guys that are tired or guys that aren't you know fully into the game yet and um, we made a big emphasis obviously over the last two days of you know trying to the last 10 15 minutes that's where we try to ramp up our our motivation and, and our kind of being into the game and whatnot so I thought that was really good tonight, and uh, even going down to man the last few minutes, the way we you know ended that game was great. And then having knowing that Vera is going to be out for the next game and maybe a couple more after that, uh, what's the mindset in the, in the defensive line getting ready for this next uh, these last two games of the season in the playoffs? Yeah, I think uh, we'll adjust well. Whoever goes steps in for him. Uh, a lot of guys on the back line have got a lot of experience this year, so whoever fits in uh, will do a great job, and I'm there to help them be ready for it. Minnesota's kind of fighting for their playoff lives in a lot of ways right now. And, and Paul will mention something uh, that it, that game out there felt a little bit like a playoff mentality in some ways. Did you feel that way? And can that maybe kind of give you guys some dividends down the stretch of sort of knowing how that feels, I guess? Yeah, I think especially uh, hopefully hosting a playoff game here at home, I think you might see teams do that against us where we have a lot of the ball, but not a lot of chances in the offensive third. And, uh, yeah, they seemed happy to you know get out of here with a point um, and really just rely on the on the counter. And fair play to them, they they did a decent job at it. And um, like I said, we still had plenty of opportunities to to win this game and just came up short. Thank you, Zach. Cool.